No, I don't hear nothing. What the other YouTubers told me, go to AutoZone, go to Advance, pick up the power stops. They'll be there, they'll be there. It's a bad look on the people that I personally look up to. This person didn't like the fact that I supported someone that they don't support. Taking advantage of the situation and trying to name drop and all that other stuff, that's clout chasing. Man, that's that's the struggle that smaller YouTube channels and you know that people like me have to deal with. What it is, what's happening, YouTube? It's your boy Certified, and I'm back with another banger for you guys. You already know what it is. If you ain't a subscriber to this channel yet, what I always tell you guys, hit that red button. You know why? Because it don't cost me nothing. It don't cost you nothing. Just click that red button. Y'all already know what it is. So I'm over here, new, new, all aired out, drop down. I'm at my boy, uh, One Killer Cat's house. We had to uh, change out some brakes for him because uh, his brakes were squealing. Like literally, anytime he drives, even without hitting the brakes, it sounded like he was slaughtering a pig. Like his car was squealing. So, but I'm gonna do another video on that because right now we literally just, uh, of course, the wind now, right as I'm talking, it has been non windy. That's not even a word. I don't think that's a word. Anyways, it's been non windy the whole time. But, anyways, um, we're just doing a temp brake job right now, just changing out the front pads. And uh, actually just got done doing that um, until he gets the uh, power stop brakes in. And then I'm gonna do a full video on how to change the brake pads on a Hellcat. So stay posted for that. But today's video, I gotta talk to you guys, man. I gotta talk to you guys about something serious, about something that small time YouTubers or people who aren't truly established in the YouTube game things that they have to deal with and the type of issues that you can encounter during the time that you're trying to establish your channel. So stay posted because I got some content, good content and good info coming up for you guys. And I'm actually going to talk about an issue that happened to me recently. Um, yeah, we're just going to talk about it. But before I even get into this video, I do want to make a disclaimer. The issue that I'm going to talk about, I am not going to name names. I'm not going to tag or mention any Instagrams, YouTube channels or anything like that, because that is not the type of channel I am. Uh, this is not the, the content for that. And I'm, I'm just not that type of person that's just going to put somebody on blast. I'm just going to talk about the situation. If the person is watching this, they know who I'm talking about. Um, if they choose to put their own situation and put themselves on blast, that's on them. But I'm not going to put their names out there because this is something that can happen and actually has happened to other people who are small time in the YouTube game um, that I've talked to. So this is an issue that I feel like needs to be addressed. And if anybody that's well established in the YouTube game and, uh, even on Instagram, if you guys are truly established and you guys have a good following, if you guys are watching this, please take heed to this because at the end of the day, we all came from somewhere and we all started from somewhere. So everybody did not get lucky enough to get their channel or Instagram page off the ground due to through somebody else um, who's already established people like myself we we're starting from nothing so the grind is real the grind is hard and we got to stay consistent in order to make it out here but anyways like i said we're going to talk about all that stuff here in a second and uh hope you guys enjoy and get some good information out of this so let go i swear these bags never get old at all as y'all seen in my last video i actually did a review on these bags themselves and i'm telling you guys i don't regret my decision one bit so if you guys want to get some good info on how it is driving a daily drive well daily driven charger on bags make sure y'all tune in to that video because i definitely gave some good info and some good insights and true real life experience on these bags so i love it i love it but got my dog one killer cat aka red key tv in here you know what i'm saying y'all see the car jacked up we just got done um, changing out the front brake, brake pads and in the meantime we actually found an issue with his wheel lights one of the brackets right there ended up cracking or well they were cracked not during the process they were cracked <laughs> right so, while you put it the other end of this bad boy right there. Look, you, see, you see that you see that you see that yep and then look down by your foot oh wow yeah, you gotta change out that bracket so those red lights stay on there and don't rattle around and potentially cause an issue. 
But yeah, make sure y'all subscribe to his channel, man. Big congrats. By the time I drop this video, he will probably already, I don't know if he's gonna drop his video um, that same day, but big congrats to my dog, Red Key TV, for finally reaching 1,000 subscribers. Hey, hey. Kind of hey. Uh, uh, <laughs> my boy in there, we my out boy out. in there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But yeah, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe, man. Like I'm telling you guys, it don't cost you nothing. It don't cost nobody anything just to sit that subscribe button, man. It's just like a follow on Instagram, man. Just, just subscribe. That's, that's all you gotta do. And while you're, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell so y'all don't miss any heat that he got coming up. Cause it's a couple of y'all that are watching this video right now that ain't subscribed. Facts. Like, so definitely you need to subscribe. We get to see in the analytics how many people out of the percentage are subscribed to the channel. Facts. Mine be like 76%. I be like, God, no. <laughs> Come on, man. Hit that subscribe button. Facts. Y'all support that boy, man. Real talk. And follow him on his Instagram. He got that wide body Hellcat. I did a feature on this. Make sure y'all check out that feature. I'll make sure to link that up top. For you guys i did a full feature on this uh wide body hellcat this is a custom wide body hellcat this car is dope man i'm not even gonna talk too much about it if y'all want to know anything about it and just the build in general um just make sure y'all check out that feature i did man he over here acting like he know what he doing <laughs> can't fix it not damn try to until you do Motherfucker. <laughs> Through the rotor. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Deleted scenes! <laughs> right. Blooper alert. Moment of truth. No. So we finally got everything back together. He fixed that bracket behind there for his wheel lights. Everything is good to go. You got them, uh, the ghost, the ghost thing, the ghost box on it. <laughs> ghost controller. Yeah, I couldn't think of the word for nothing, man. <laughs> Watch this cold start though. Well, semi warm start. Warm start. Yeah. Woo. That thing sounds so good, man. Nothing. I think we fixed the issue. Hey, drive it around the block and um, I'll see if I hear anything. Especially if you come down this little strip right here. here. Yeah. Okay. That thing sounds so good, man. But yeah, I think we fixed the issue. Uh, I think it was just his front brakes that were squealing. Um, so I don't think he even needs the rear brakes, but I think he's still gonna go ahead and switch out to the uh, power stop brakes because those are actually pretty decent brakes. But man, in the meantime, look at Nuno. Just look at her. Why'd you just look at it? I still gotta adjust that front lip. I gotta get some uh, bolts and stuff for it because as you guys can see, I have a little gap right here and right there. So I just gotta shift it over just a hair. There he goes. So let's see if we hear anything. See if we hear that squeal again. Oh yeah, you in business, big dog? Yeah, you in business. Yeah, I literally just pulled up. Like part right in front of his garage. Hey, okay, change garage. But yeah, you good, big dog? So we got my boy back in business. He ain't gotta worry about being 
embarrassed in these streets with brakes squealing. He don't sound like he's slaughtering a pig every day no more. You know what I'm saying? His car is back right, back right. But you still gonna do the um, the power stops, right? Oh yeah, they already on order. Okay, uh, so. I think right now with me changing the front ones right now, just to have something temporary in there to get away from the spoiling. Ordering my power stops front and back, so I spent 180, uh, 181 bucks. And I want to say that these six pistons were like 40 bucks right now. So something temporary, we're not gonna keep those in there for forever. Um, but we wanted to make sure that we got away so we didn't warp the rotor yeah. and mess up anything. So yeah, because it was bad. It was bad. So he, he needed something right now. And unfortunately, AutoZone and Advanced Auto did not have the power stops in stock. So he had to get them on order. So he ended up getting some cheap ones. What the other YouTubers told me, go to AutoZone, go to Advanced, pick up the power stops. They'll be there. They'll be there. Hey. I went to like three of them. Nobody had them. O'Reilly's Auto Parts, Advanced Auto Parts, nobody had them. Had to order them from AutoZone to get them in by Saturday. Today is what, Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah, so listen to them other YouTubers telling you to go there. You better order them things offline yourself and then do them. Look, look, let, let, me, let me clear some up. They might be in stock at some auto zones. They weren't in stock here, all right? So <laughs> it was just unfortunate for him. So he had to order them. So, but they do sell them at auto zones. So just double check your local auto zone, advanced auto. And if you're trying to swap out to those brake pads and make sure that they have them before you actually plan on doing this job because we plan on doing it today and expected that auto zone would have them and they didn't. So. Either way, my boy's back in business, so. The reason why I say they might not be at your AutoZone, they are for high performance brakes. So AutoZone deals with a lot of regular vehicles. High performance stuff, they don't keep a lot of different yeah. selections. So these are not what come on the car stock. So like you're hit or miss whether they have ordered those uh, high performance for something that they may not get a large uh, quantity of people coming in to buy them. Right. So for other cars, you know, different brakes, they might have, you know, a bunch of different stuff because it's more common, but it's not a lot of people that have the Hellcats like that. And then to go from off from Brembro. Uh, Brembro. Yeah, you know. Brembro. Go Brembo. off from there to something else, <laughs> high performance. They were like, yeah, we can get them, yeah. but we don't have them in stock. So they may have them in stock by you, but they definitely, nobody had them in stock. I called more shops. I went to three and nobody had them in stock. So. Yeah, so. But either way, my boy back in business, we, we, we know what the issue was because those cheap brakes fix the issue. It's not squealing anymore. So, but we're going to do, I'm actually going to do a full brake change, well, brake pad change on a Hellcat on his baby right here. So um, just stay posted for that video, like I said. So, but again, big shout out to Red Key TV, AKA One Killer Cat on Instagram. So make sure y'all subscribe to his channel. Big congrats to him for hitting 1K again. And hit that follow button on Instagram, man. Make sure y'all follow that boy. He got some dope content. Obviously you guys see he got a dope Hellcat. So make sure y'all support that boy. But I gotta get on my way because I have a wicker bill that I have to install today. And uh, this guy's meeting me at my house in about an hour or so. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing rolling to talk about what we're here to talk about. So let go. So get back to the house. What I always say, it never gets old. Never gets old. As you guys can hear, that's the compressors kicking on to air this bad boy up. Hmm. So let's get on the road. All right, B-Dop. But um, so yeah, let's talk about what we're here to talk about, man. So the struggle that a lot of smaller channels deal with or YouTubers um, deal with or even Instagram or social media influencers deal with is that when you meet bigger YouTubers or when you meet bigger social media influencers for lack of a better term, um, even though that might be the right term, is that People can misunderstand you and people can take you as trying to get famous or trying to establish yourself through them. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure
sure there are some people out here that do that. Um, and then you take the, the advantage of, you know, the situation or the people that they meet to try to gain subscribers, followers, things of that nature. Not everybody does that. Uh, I definitely pride myself in being a channel that wants to build, I wanna build my channel naturally. Uh, don't get me wrong. You know, it. I've met people, I've had people on the channel in the past. Um, I've also, I've also done features with people that are well, way more established than I am in this YouTube thing. I don't know why my phone is acting up right now. But uh, anyways, I've done that, but I haven't done it on purpose to try to gain followers. Um, I was actually, the one time I actually did it, I think it was Mr. Uh, with uh, Life With Slides. His, his channel is well established and he's actually way up there in the subscriber, subscriber count. I think his Instagram following is up there as well. I'm not sure about that, but anyways, he definitely is, well, was well more established than I am and still is well more established than I am in the YouTube game. Uh, but he reached out to me and he asked me, hey, do you want to do a, a collab? And I was down for that. Um, and also I had other people on the channel, you know, featured people on the channel, whether it was uh, just a, a quick, hey, what's up? You know, a quick shout out or, you know, I'm saying riding with them. Y'all don't already see my past videos. If you've been following me on my channel with uh, the Free Smoke Gang, Fat Cat, Garage Driven, Modern Day Muscle, so far and so on. But anyways, um, the issue, like I said, that smaller channels have is that bigger channels um, and social media influencers think that we try to take advantage of the situation or of them in order to gain um, subscribers and views. So the situation that I recently went through, again, just a reminder, I'm not going to name drop. If you guys want to know who it was, I'm not, that's not what I'm here for. I'm just here to explain what happened and explain my side of the story and how I feel that it's a bad look on the people that I personally look up to. So I recently met somebody and um, that person is somebody that I, I recently actually, I didn't even know about this person, to be honest with you, until I saw them on another channel. And you know, from that point on is when I started following them. And they inspire me, they have a, a nice ride, their personality is dope, cool. When I actually met them in person, it was even better. You know what I'm saying? Had a good conversation, off camera conversations, and it got to the point to where this person was actually okay with potentially doing an event together and so far and so on. So as time goes by, um, I've noticed that this person no longer supports me and I ended up getting word back to me that this person stated to them that, and this is not just word of mouth, you know what I'm saying? This is actual somebody that has contacted them that's been in contact with this person. Um, so it's, it's definitely not a lie, a rumor, or anything like that. And it was even more confirmed because I ended up reaching out to that person after the fact to kind of see where that person's mind is, see where that person's head is at, and also, I guess, further explain my actions because this person didn't like the fact that I supported someone that they don't support. Um, and it, it just, it, it, it just got to the point to where the name, name calling and all that stuff started coming about. My uh, phone bracket is really not trying to work with me today, but it got to the point to where they said things like, oh, I'm a clout chaser. Um, I'm, I'm just, you know, for lack of a better term, riding somebody's wave because they're bigger than me. And to be honest with you guys, I'm a very neutral person. I'm, 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 a, I'm the type of person I wanna see everybody win in this YouTube game. Um, even on Instagram, I wanna see everybody win. I'm for everybody being successful in this business. You know, I want everybody to have their brand 
take off. Even if they're well established on YouTube, well, even if they're well established on Instagram, I'm pretty sure once I get to that level, people are probably gonna be looking up to me the same way. However, I still wanna see them succeed. Even though in my eyes, they made it, but I'm pretty sure they, they have higher goals. So I still want them to want to see them succeed. But they call, that person called me a clout chaser because I supported someone that they don't get along with. And so I'm not gonna lie, when we talked about the situation, um, this person, I guess, had a, a run in with this person. And I'm, I'm an honest person. If somebody is being rude, if somebody is being uh, uh, disrespectful, I'm gonna call a spade a spade. I'm, I'm gonna call it what it is. Yeah, they were being disrespectful. Just because this person was being disrespectful to another person does not automatically mean that, oh, I'm gonna unfollow them or, oh, I'm gonna stop supporting them. I have no reason to stop supporting someone unless they've done something personal to me. And up until this point, no one has ever done anything personal to me or disrespectful to me or said anything disrespectful to me that's been in the YouTube game or, or in, in the in Instagram world. No one has done that, you know? I've, I've always gotten that mutual respect from people. So I was confused by the fact of what this person was saying and the fact that why would you consider me a clout chaser because I'm cool with or I support somebody that you're not cool with just because they're not cool with you doesn't mean that I need to automatically not be cool with them like that's that's high school stuff that's 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 high school stuff in my opinion so why would I why would I do that that, that situation has nothing to do with me that's between you and that person if y'all choose to hash it out on your time that's between that's that's between y'all that has nothing to do with me and the thing is what I've noticed is I think it's mainly because of the fact that I'm a small channel and I don't have that same following that this person has on Instagram and etc. Uh, because I feel like if my channel was well established, if I, my Instagram following was to the same level or bigger than this person, this conversation wouldn't have even come up, to be honest with you. Because the reason why I say that is because when I go to this person's page on Instagram, the people that that person follows, those people support the same person. <laughs> those people like pictures and and give shout outs and and go to, goes to events that this person hosts, but it's not an issue with them. You don't unfollow them. You don't stop supporting them because they also have a well-established channel. But the people such as myself, who are small time in the game right now and who are trying to establish themselves are considered clout chasers because we're supporting someone that you're not cool with. Like, I, I, I just don't understand it. Like, the situation really baffled me. And, it, and I'm not gonna lie, it made me look at that person differently. Don't get me wrong, I still support this person. The person didn't come at me disrespectful. I did reach out to that person. Uh, about the situation and that person chose not to respond. However, that person chose to address the person that came to me about it because that was the only person that they talked to. They chose to address them. So it let me know that whatever was said was true. It let me know whatever was brought to my attention from this person was true and nothing was a lie because if you didn't have a problem with me or if you didn't have an issue with me you know what i'm saying you would have you would have responded to me but that's not the i mean that's neither here nor there i'm not sweating it i don't care about who follows me and who supports me because there will always be somebody that will support me regardless so but it just it just made me think about it. i'm like you know what it's crazy, and that's one of the struggles that a lot of small-time YouTubers or people who are small-time in this YouTube game have to deal with, is you can be genuine. You can be genuine in supporting somebody. You can be genuine in being neutral out here and not entertaining drama and not getting in the middle of 
the hype and oh this person said this this person said that and trying to take advantage of the situation that's clout chasing taking advantage of the situation and trying to name drop and all that other stuff that's clout chasing that's trying to trying to gain subscribers through someone else's situation or drama that has nothing to do with you but you just want to speak on it and you just want to give your two cents and try to gain views because of that that's not the person that i am and that's never going to be the person that i am so I, it just it just baffled me and to be honest with you for those of you that are watching if there are any well-established youtubers or social media uh influencers that are watching this video right now stop assuming that someone is trying to take advantage of your success stop assuming that stop thinking that just because you don't support somebody because you had a fallout with somebody that they automatically should su should support the people that you support just because they support you like that's that's dick riding in my opinion i'm not gonna oh oh you don't support this person well shoot let me let me not support this person because you don't support no i'm my own person i'm gonna support who i want to support because at the end of the day i'm my own person i'm a grown ass man i don't need anybody to to tell me who to support and who not to support you know what i'm saying so whether regardless if you got drama with somebody that's between you and that person like i said that is between y'all y'all handle that if y'all choose not to handle it that's y'all business. I'm not gonna get in between that. But it's not gonna stop me from supporting you. It's not gonna stop me from supporting that person if it's one of those people that I support. Uh, I it, it it just it just makes no sense. But but yeah, man, that's that's the struggle that smaller YouTube channels and you know that people like me have to deal with is that when you meet bigger people in the game that are more established, they some people just assume that you're trying to take advantage of the situation. They assume that you're a clout chaser, they assume. And to be honest with you guys, sometimes, I'm not even gonna say that. I'm just gonna say, in my opinion, that's their loss. Because despite the fact that I still support that person, because I see what type of person they are, and because they assume with me, if I do make it to that type of status or surpass their status, and they now in turn want to work with me, I remember everything. I remember everything. And it's not gonna make me wanna work with you because at this point it's like, okay, so now are you a clout chaser? Because now I surpassed your status, now I can have something to bring to the table for you. Now you wanna work with me? Before when I was small, you didn't wanna work with me, but now you do? I remember. But like I said, it's not gonna stop, stop me from su supporting you. I, I will still support this person night and day i like their content i like their personality but seeing what type of person they are i would never work with them in the future i would still support them at events i would still shout them out i would still give them their credit because at the end of the day i like what they're doing but i wouldn't work with them so but i know you guys are tired of hearing me talking about my rant right now i just had to address this situation in a public setting just to on hopes that anybody that's watching this video right now um if you're the type of person that you allow your status to get to your head to the point to where you forget where you came from because at one point you didn't have that follow at one point you didn't have those subscribers think about that even if your subscribers, if you got 10,000 subscribers within the first day of you launching your YouTube channel, you didn't, you was a nobody at one point. <laughs> Everybody was a nobody at one point. You came from somewhere. Don't forget where you come from. Support the people who support you. That's the message that I'm trying to get across. Support the people who support you and genuinely support you. There are, like I said, there are people who try to take advantage of situations, but majority of the people that I've met, you know, are old enough or are mature enough to know to be able to tell the difference. And in my opinion, it, it it's sad when you meet people that you look up to and that inspire you that, you know, assume, you know what I'm saying? It, it sucks, but it is what it is. It's not going to stop my grind. I'm going to keep going. 
I'm gonna keep going. Boy, it's getting hot in here. I'm trying to talk to you guys and not have this air on so y'all don't hear that air in the back background and you know interfering with the video. But yeah, it is hot in here. So I'm about to close this video out in a second. But uh, but like I said, man, big shout out to everybody that I have met that has been a dope, dope person. Um, that has been, that is well established in the game. There's so many people that I can name off. Um, I've, I've, I've met some dope YouTube influences. Um, I've met some dope social media, IG influences. Um, I, I just met some dope people and some dope personalities. So nonetheless, big shout out to y'all. The rest of y'all that let this YouTube stuff and YouTube fame and IG fame get to your head. I really hope y'all change our ways, man, because it, it, people like us, we look up to y'all, man. We definitely look up to y'all. And it just sucks to see the type of person that you are because, you know, it, it, it just it, it just sucks. It just sucks. I'm not, I'm not here to bash anybody. Um, like I said, it just sucks. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video, y'all. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, I know this is more of a rant style video compared to my other videos that I posted, but I feel like it needed to be said. Um, this is something that, you know, YouTubers deal with, man, especially small channels. And this is this is a, a, a thing that I've been talked to by other small channels and issues that they've dealt with. So I just wanted to, you know, put that out there that, you know, show love to everybody, man. Just show love, just show love. If people can just show love and stay neutral to stuff and not hype things up and assume with people, a lot of the drama that goes on wouldn't happen. You know what I'm saying? People's egos get in the way. You know, it, it just, a lot of the stuff is unnecessary. But like I said, it's been going on long enough. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram and hashtag salute and certified drip on all your pictures and videos to show support to the channel. And until next time, YouTube, I hope y'all have.